Hi my loves, how you doing? I hope you're good. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it all day, every day. Ding! So, um, I just quickly wanted to uh, touch on the topic of naming your child or your children after their grandmothers or grandfathers, uncle or aunts or uh, godmothers, godfathers, your sister or your brother, or your 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 best friend, which you uh, you adored so much, okay, and you wanna honor them um, by giving or by naming your child with a, their name. One thing for sure, uh, well, for me, I don't support that. Okay, as a Christian, I don't support that. Um, I believe and I and I think many Christians believe as well that when you name your child you should give your, your child a, a new name okay and a name that will, will 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 has no attached attachments to it a positive name okay a positive name that will um help in elevating your child's life uh helping your child's character helping your child's um uh personality i mean be be an addition of some sort a positive addition of some sort to your child's life right and then but then we get um in the olden days and i think it still happens even now that we get people that name their children after certain people and uh, for me it's 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 kind of um unfortunate for the person who will be carrying the the other person's name and why do i say that it's because um let, first of all let the dead be okay let the dead be let the dead rest in peace okay if you want to honor them you can always on the day of their passing have a little lunch you know just to honor them playing their music um in their in their remembrance okay um but uh, let's think about it this way guys no matter how good a person might have seen um to the world okay in public we we will never know what uh, they did um and truly believed in um when they are alone and behind closed doors right you get people that had smoked you get people that have um ha had turned into what's this into um robbers murderers um you get people that uh have went through depression and stress anxiety um sicknesses cancer diabetes um uh people that have struggled in their lives growing up or uh, a person was bullied at school this and that and most of the times we don't fully know a person okay we know a person um from the amount we've spent time with them and now think about when you name your child um after a certain person which mostly is it's said to be a good person, right? And that is, that's not bad. But now think about it. The things that you don't know that they went through, the things that you don't know they carried, the things that you don't know that they hid away from the world and they died with them. Now you're naming your child um, a certain after a certain person because you knew them from being around them. A lot of people wear masks. A, lo a lot of people... Um, have different personalities multiple personalities and now here you are naming your child um after this a uh, sweet uh, adorable um beautiful person and your child is now um a child that get that goes through so much in life that you wonder why you know you wonder why yes you may be seeing um and you can pick up the good traits of the person you've named them after but then you don't know of the other things that have latched on to your child because um it it, it was on that person but it was not uh, brought to light um okay 
for me uh, i don't really support that besides also being christian if i were a normal person not going to church or whatever and or an atheist i still wouldn't believe in that because when when we as you a person personally when you are alone there are things that you know that you do that other people might not know whether good or bad right whether good or bad and ish, my thing is you putting children in danger Okay, it's like naming a child uh, a bad name, a negative name, uh, and suddenly the child is a nuisance to people, a nuisance to people. Child, suddenly the child is, is not loved by people. The child is always going through hardships. The child, the child is always sick. The child is always lacking. Okay, so so honestly, I would I would I wouldn't advise it. Guys, like just try from from now on to 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 name your children like newly. That's a newborn. Okay, they get new clothes. You know, they get new clothes. Um, um new everything welcomed into the name. And then when ufunugum nigeza ikama laga koko um tana segu koko yen. Do you understand? Segu um kulu yen a segu anti yen a u anti bega yen zaga njena. Um, what's this? U u u u u ba ba bega 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 shaya. Do you understand? Bega no laga. Do you understand? Um, puma silwe. <laughs> Do you understand? I rather a child um gets that from their parents. You know, it's it's better. Think about it. It's better if a uh, a child inherits traits from their parents. Now imagine umtana inheriting uh from both their parents or one of their parents, and then you also he's also he or she is also inheriting from uh someone that has passed. We don't know their secrets. We don't know where they've been, what they've done. We are mangala umtana umtana but but uh, um but uh, you didn't see that from that person to understand but you didn't see that because the person was a christian but undercover do you understand what i'm saying do you understand what i'm saying so to me it's like um no thank you please welcome the baby with uh, everything new Okay, welcome the child with everything new. Biza umtana umupeikama elise that will blossom and bloom, and they will be able to live up to their name. Okay, they will be able to live up to their name. Um, I, I mean, maybe if um the person that had passed used to call, maybe let's say, for instance, I'm making an example. Okay, um, if uh the granny loved calling your 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 baby um or the granny passed uh before you gave birth and the granny had said oh i'm gonna i'm uh, i want you, i want you to name the child um sweetheart or the granny uh, your favorite granny order always called you sweetheart it can be a, a nickname you know sweetheart oh uh, i'm calling you that because my granny used to call me that and um, she always said that I, I i am her sweetheart so that's how i also feel about you my baby my 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 little little um snookums. okay but specifically going sitting down and you are choosing and saying le le kamaleli le yeah laga 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 malum yeah sinigez alone yilo le kamaleli yilo le kamaleli laga malum awa zugutu malum ebsu uya vuga o vuga abula labantu I'm just saying, okay? It's just a thing that runs in my head. I was talking about it with uh, some someone last last week, and um, they also didn't see that thing like as a positive thing. Okay, I know for many people it comes from the heart and the positive way, but Mayans is in Tesiganji. You need to sit down and think deeply. Uguti, gasle gasle. Okay, it's besimazi maganga panzi, but indoors, u u besimazi ganga ganani. Do you understand? 
understand what I'm saying? Magayetwa, without anybody seeing them in the darkness. How was the person? Okay? You don't want umtanako asafari from the things that a, a, a person that had has passed has uh, has been suffering from that you didn't know of okay all the best